Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the second video in my Shop My Stash series. This is really fun for me because I decided to do this more um, Shop My Stash by chance. And by that I mean I actually randomly drew eight products from my collection using the Pretty Random app last month. And it was a lot of fun to pick out products that I might have not wanted to reach for otherwise, like things that were out of season or products that I haven't even used before. And that's the beauty of doing it kind of this way is it's not things that I'm necessarily drawn to or like craving at the moment, but instead I'm opening up my eyes to using my collection a little bit more well-rounded than I may otherwise. If you watched my intro for this Shop My Stash series, you saw that I actually ended up picking a lot of things that were quite challenging and a little bit out of season and I even chose something that I had never used before. So I think this is a really great way for me to rotate through my collection and to give you guys some reviews on products that I may not otherwise talk about on my channel if they hadn't been a part of this project. So I'm really excited to share with you guys my thoughts on all eight products that I selected last month. So let's just hop on into that. All right, so the first item I wanna talk about is this e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush in the shade Always Fiery. It's this gorgeous, vibrant, matte, orange red shade and you can tell it's like it's just a crazy blush shade for my personal skin tone but I did wear it twice this month as a blush and I've worn it as an eyeshadow now two or three times today I'm wearing it just underneath of all of these other warm tones I kind of mashed like six or seven eyeshadows together today and I I do like the result but you can't differentiate this from the other shades that are in this eye look but either way it definitely does help to bring a little bit of warmth to the look but Regardless, okay, so when I did wear it as a blush, I really did like it. It just is something that is out of my comfort zone for sure. I'll insert a picture here and show you guys what it looked like in one of the looks that I wore it with. I wore it with a bright orange red lip that was very comparable to the color of this blush and I like that monochromatic look but it's not something that is like an everyday go-to kind of look for me by any means but it was fun to play around with. I'm happy that I rolled it into this project. I had a chance to really familiarize myself with it and to actually like use it on my face for the first time. <laughs> it's gonna be rolling back into my collection for a little while and maybe I'll feel a little bit more inspired to reach for it in the future now that I've used it a handful of times. Here's another product I had never used before as well. This is the Josie Marin Argan Enlightenment Illuminizer. Wow, those words are so hard to say together. And I think this only comes in one shade. This is a mini that came in a clean beauty set from Sephora. And I'm happy that I had a chance to reach for it. However, I do think that this gold shade is a touch too deep for me right now. I'd rather use it in the summer when I do have a little bit more of a tan, but I did mix it in with primers and I really liked the way that it looked for that. I mixed it in with my tinted moisturizer and I really loved it for that as well, but applying it directly onto the face as like a full on highlighter, it is a little bit deep for me right now. And this formula, dries down very quickly. I was not expecting that at all. There was like two times I think that I applied it directly onto my face and the first time I just pumped it onto the back of my hand and I used my sponge to kind of work it in and it was the product was barely even picking up onto my sponge because it had already kind of dried down and so the next time I used my finger to apply it and it did definitely keep a little bit more malleable using my finger but I didn't find that it was the most smooth application that way. The one thing I have to say about this, I don't know if this reigns true for the full size, but definitely for the mini size, every time I pump it, because it is a nice pump applicator, every time I pump it, there's like nasty, dried up, goopy, old highlighter stuck in the top, and that just comes out into the rest of all of the product. When I apply it onto the back of my hand, there's like a chunk of dried up product. And I cannot seem to just simply do like a half pump or less of this because it is insane how much product comes out of every single pump. So I feel like I wasted a little bit of product when I was using it. Let me maybe, maybe try to show you. Look how much freaking product comes out. Can you see that? Watch. Also, yeah, there's the chunk. But, um... I do not need that much product in one pump and this is like thick this is a thick amount of product right here so unless you were going to highlight your entire face oh and there's the chunk right there you see that you unless you're gonna highlight 
literally your entire face and like down your legs and the tops of your shoulders. I don't know why the product pumps out this much, but that's just a, a little side note, just a little, a little tidbit for you. I think I'd rather reach for that a little bit more come the summertime so I can again try it on my shoulders, try it on my collarbone, try it down the fronts of my legs and um, actually be able to use a full pump of product that way. So I randomly drew another highlighting product and this one is a powder. This one is by Fenty Beauty. This is the Kilowatt Highlighter in the shade Hustle Baby. This is a mini that came in a little mini set by Fenty. And this is a stunning gold highlighter. I absolutely love it. You can tell that I do because I did have pan on it before I even rolled it into my Shop My Stash. But today I'm wearing it as my highlighter and I just think it gives the most amazing glow to the skin. I'm also wearing it on my inner corners today and it is absolutely beautiful. I do wanna work my way through it eventually and um, this was a really good reminder to reach for it, but I am panning a couple different highlighters right now, so this is just gonna roll back into my collection for the next little while. I was saying when I rolled it into my Shop My Stash that I was gonna potentially put this into my Graveyard Project pan, but I think I've elected for the time being. I'm gonna hold off on that because I just don't feel the need to get rid of it immediately. This next product is a setting spray by Too Faced. This is the Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. I didn't even really need to shop my stash for this because this is something that I do reach for quite often. If my skin is looking a little bit parched or unhappy, I just refresh my skin with this or just like liberally apply it right after putting on any sort of base products to kind of re- hydrate my skin and this is just such a good product. I love the way it smells. I love the way it performs but uh, yeah it was fun to just like have it in the rotation and to make note of using it a little bit more frequently but that's really all I have to say about it. I love it. I know it's good. I know I enjoy it and it was nice to just keep reaching for it. I also rolled in this Annabelle Big Show Lip Shine. I honestly have no idea if these are available. I don't really keep up with what Annabelle is releasing or what products Annabelle has at the moment ever, but they're, they're just not a brand that's on my radar. And yet somehow whenever I'm in Walmart or Shoppers Drug Mart, not as of late, but whenever I do just stroll around, sometimes something from Annabelle catches my eye. And for some reason at some point about four or five years ago, this did. This is in the shade Whisper, and it's a really nice lip gloss, actually. I did like using it this month, but I just forget to reach for it. It's just like, it's not addictive or special enough that I really want to use it all that often, but I did integrate it into a few looks. It, in the tube, looks like it's kind of shimmery and milky and looks like it would be very opaque but as you can see in the swatch it's quite sheer and it just offers this slight light pink tint but generally it just kind of looks like a nice light gloss so i'm happy that i reached for it i don't really feel like i fell in love with it by any means but it's not something that i necessarily want to part with i'm just going to put it back into my collection and this is a good reminder that maybe i should decide to pan this in the future. This next product is by ColourPop. This is the No Filter Sticks. I have mine in the shade Light 67N. And if you guys saw my Roulette Pan collab update, then you'll actually know that I did roll this into that project pan because I have been really enjoying this. So I'm really happy to have kind of re-familiarized myself with it through my Shop My Stash. And it is a medium to full coverage foundation stick, but lately, I have been wearing it quite sheer. Today I'm wearing it and I don't know if you can tell, it doesn't look like super heavy or cakey. I have been recently just applying it to the back of my hand, just like covering the back of my hand in this product. And then I'll use a buffing brush and work the product into the brush that way and then apply it onto my skin. And it looks so smooth and offers me some coverage without looking cakey or heavy. And I'm really happy that I discovered that technique and that way to use this foundation and I've been really enjoying it. And the seventh product that I drew for this Shop My Stash is this Anastasia Liquid Lipstick. This is a mini and I just realized that the theme of this whole Shop My Stash ended up being minis somehow. But anyways, this is in the shade Bittersweet which is this amazing red brown shade. It's a very nice warm brown color. I did wear this on my lips maybe three times this month. Um, probably not any more than that, but I did reach for it a fair amount of times because I love brown lips. I think that they're so fun and I feel so good when I wear a brown lip, but 
Regardless, I don't love the formula of this. It's because I'm just moving so far away from a preference of liquid lips. I really like something really hydrating and balmy and glossy lately. And this is quite drying. It's not unbearably uncomfortable by any means, but it does kind of emphasize a little bit of the lines in my lips. So I do have to go in with a lip balm right before I apply it so that it applies more smoothly and also just so that it wears a little bit more nicely. But I did wear this one time as a, like the base lipstick and then I put the lip that I have on today which is Bite Honeycomb in the middle of my lips to kind of hydrate but also give me a slightly like ombre 90s lip vibe and I really liked it. And today I'm wearing this actually not as a lipstick but as a liquid eyeliner i'm wearing it as my wing today and i really like the way that this looks i think it was a lot of fun to play with it this way yeah i've had this on for about five or six hours already today and i haven't seen any issues with fading or flaking or anything like that so if you do have any liquid lips kicking around that you're not feeling like drawn to and you don't want to use necessarily on your lips but they're colors that are fun and you want to get use out of them I highly suggest trying them out as a winged liner it's a lot of fun and it's a really good way to get use out of things that you might not be reaching for and the last product that I drew into my shop my stash was this wet n wild photo focus face primer in the matte version wet n wild is no longer cruelty free and so I was really excited at the prospect of potentially finishing this up this month now that I like when I drew it into this shop my stash However, the weather here hasn't changed to be like spring, summer quite yet. We had snow basically every day this week and last week. And so I haven't really had a need to use a mattifying primer. I did use it a handful of times, but my skin tends to be more normal to dry lately. So this isn't like my preferred primer at this time of year, I'd like to use it up. I think I'm gonna roll it into my graveyard project pan, which the introduction should be going up in a couple days time from now. So keep your eyes out for that. So I'm gonna be drawing eight new products from my collection. I do have a quick question for you guys here. Let me know what you think about this. So I eliminated the eight products from my spreadsheet. The eight products that I had last month, I took them completely out of the spreadsheet. So now I'm down to 195 products that I could choose from. However, I've been thinking, do I need to remove them? Should I keep them in so that maybe I draw them again in the future? Or should I just work my way through all the products in my collection and just have um, the number dwindle every single month? Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Let me know what you think. For now, I have eliminated them. Maybe in like three months time, I might pop them all back in so that I might drop for them again. But let me know what you think about that. Either way, I have 195 products that we're gonna be randomizing. That includes like full palettes are included as one product. And I just don't have mascaras in here or products that I'm project panning at the moment. So 195 products I can shop my stash for. So let's draw all eight products. So I have 119, actually I'm just gonna do this really quickly, okay? 31, third one is 40, 81 is number four, 30 is number five, 117 is number six, 63 is number seven, and number eight is gonna be 165. And I don't know if you guys know this about the Pretty Random app, but there's this little hamburger menu right here, and you can click this, and you can see all the, pro all the numbers that you rolled that time. So I'm gonna take a look through my spreadsheet, see what all of these numbers correspond to, and I'll be back to share with you guys all of my picks. So I just wanna grab all the products. The first one I wanna talk about is this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I have this in the shade San Paolo. This is a beautiful, bright, almost raspberry pink kind of shade. It's absolutely beautiful. I loved this when I first bought it and that was almost like three years ago. I did swatch it here actually already cause I wanted to take a look as soon as I pulled it out, but it is such a fun, fun color. Like I said, I bought this probably about three years ago in the summer and I did not take this off of my lips for probably two weeks straight because I was obsessed. And if you know me now, my preferences are definitely not like pink lip shades. I've been loving nudes and more sheer kind of lipsticks. So this is gonna be fun. 
this is going to be a bit of a challenge for me, but this is going to be fun to play with. I also did pick another lipstick and it is another bold lip, okay? This is by Bite. This is the Amuse Bouche lipstick in the shade Beetroot. And it is in the same vein. It definitely is much more deep and a little bit more, I guess, more berry versus pink. God, that swatch is horrible, but whatever. So yeah. This is gonna be fun. This next month, I'm gonna be wearing a lot of bright pink, bold lips. This is the kind of lip look that I used to absolutely love, but I think it was the same year that I bought, brought both of these into my collection and I was just loving like more pinky lips, bold, bold lips were my thing that year. So we are gonna be living a little bit of a throwback Rebecca kind of stage with both of these lips, but I'm really excited because these both do feel very spring summer to me and I need that in my life right now. On the same theme of kind of spring summer, this next product, I'm so excited to be rolling into this. This is the Linda Hallberg um, eye pencil in the shade Likeable Mood. It is a beautiful matte orange, like a true orange shade. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. Can you see that? I hope you guys can tell just how beautiful that orange shade is. My friend Alexi sent this to me in a package for my birthday the year before last and I have not worn this near enough. I think I've sharpened it only like one or two times, but I'm so excited to integrate this into more looks. I've been really, really loving warm eyeshadows as of late, so I'm sure that I can integrate this into many, many looks in the coming month and I'm just so, so excited. It feels very summery to me and I'm really thrilled for that. I also pill, pulled, not pilled, I also pulled another eyeliner actually and it is a matte black shade. This is by Milani. This is the Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Linked On Black. It is my only black eyeliner right now, but it is a good one. It's quite creamy and really, really opaque and very, very deep black. So I'm really looking forward to integrating this into looks again. The next product that I pulled is this one by e.l.f. This is what i do not know they never have the name of the actual product i don't know what this is called um never mind never mind it does say on it okay so this is the target targeted natural glow stick in the shade fresh morning dew this is one of those just like clear balmy highlighters and it doesn't have any base pigment at all it doesn't have any sparkle or anything it just is a dewy glossy cheek product. I'm gonna play around with this. I've worn it a couple times recently actually um, when I was wearing like no makeup but I'm gonna try it with makeup or maybe even try it out as a lip gloss, maybe as an eye gloss, who knows. I'm gonna have a, some fun playing around with this though. Again, it feels very spring summer to me so I'm thrilled that everything is kind of seasonal. I also rolled in this Too Faced Hangover X Replenishing Face Primer. You guys know I love this. I did use up one of these in my project pan last year, so it's not gonna be a problem to get use out of. I haven't opened this one though, so it is going to be freshly opened during this month. You guys already know I absolutely love this blush, so I'm so happy this is a part of my Shop My Stash right now. This is the Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade Satin Love. It's a beautiful, just nude blush shade in this gorgeous satin finish that's so flattering. Mine is so busted, but I'm so looking forward to using this and integrating this into many a looks because I I just adore this. But there is a quick little swatch of it. It's not, not the best swatch, but you get the idea. It's just a beautiful nude blush shade and I'm so, so excited to be reaching for this. And the final product I'm gonna be reaching for is this Flower In Your Prime Ultimate Eye Primer. Kind of boring, but I actually really haven't put this to the test yet. I've just been reaching for my Too Faced concealer as my primer as of late, so I am looking forward to reaching for this and familiarizing myself with it and getting my opinion on it. So I'm gonna use this over the coming month for most of my eye looks and with that being said, that is absolutely everything for this video. I have eight really fun products to play with over the next month. I cannot wait to keep using them and let you guys know in a month's time all of my thoughts on them. But thank you so, so much for watching and for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.